Laser Sherography in UT, Technological Advantages and Applications in the Aerospace Industry. This is the first presentation from the Laser Sherography webinar series. The first part of this presentation will talk about the technology of laser sherography, the second part, the defect detectability of the technique, the third part about laser sherography technological advantages, and the fourth part of applications in the aerospace industry. Laser sherography is an optical, non-destructive testing technique based on the principle of laser speckle pattern shearing interferometry. A laser sherography entity system consists of a measurement sensor, such as a floor explorer sensor or a floor scout sensor, together with an excitation system, such as thermal excitation heat lamps. A laser sherography sensor consists of the following elements a divergent laser source, and this is usually via low-powered class 3A or 3R laser diodes, and this provides the information source required by the sensor. A CMOS camera contained within the sensor is our recording medium. A shearing piezo and beam splitter provides the measurement sensitivity used by the sensor. A phase shifter gives desensitization of measurements from environmental noise. And finally, a software imaging algorithm, which is an advanced real-time software and post-processing of time-resolved images. When a monochromatic and coherent laser light source is projected on a rough surface, the surface microstructure causes the light source to scatter, forming a unique, like a thumbprint, stochastic speckle pattern. The reflecting rays from the object surface reach the imaging sensor in different phases, to the differences in their respective travel paths, and also degree of separation by the internal beam splitter. This effect is known as shearing interferometry. The perceived phase interference of each wave contributes to the intensity recorded at each pixel on the camera. A software controllable shearing piezo determines how much beam separation occurs, which in turn determines the measurement sensitivity of the sensor. When a load of stress is applied to a surface, the surface above a defect will deform comparatively more than the parent material. This is because isolated defects cause a localized weakness in the structure. Assuming an unloaded state of a sandwich core material, a defect is present directly beneath the skin within the core. When the sample is loaded in a loaded state, the surface shape of the sample, or the cross-section of the sample, will bump comparatively more where the defect is present compared to where the parent material is. When the surface shape changes, i.e. when the object is loaded, the speckle pattern also changes. Laser sterography in ET simply measures the changing speckle pattern, delta, via image subtraction between the two loading states. A reference image is acquired before loading of the speckle pattern. A measurement snapshot image is acquired of the speckle pattern after loading. The difference in the speckle pattern is taken delta from the measurement image minus the reference image. Physically, this is a visualization of how a material responds or bends to the applied load from the used excitation technique. Excitation methods include thermal excitation, vacuum partial, vacuum ambient excitation, vibration mechanical excitation, acoustic and also mechanical bending. Laser sterography only observes the surface of the structure and does not penetrate or probe the sample itself. Defects beneath the surface are located by the manner in which they affect the surface bending strain field. Measurements taken before and after a change in load are visualized in a 2D shearogram, also known as a phase map, which can be seen here. The presence of discontinuities can be identified through localized changes in the rate of change or gradient of the outer plane deformation, identifiable as black and white fringes. A phase map is computed through the acquisition of multiple discrete imaging steps, taken using the phase shifter 
and resolved via the software imaging algorithm. The phase map generates a temporal filtered image desensitized from environmental noise. As such, laser stratigraphy yields a high signal to noise ratio, making the presence of defects vivid, yielding low false calls. One fringe consists of one grey to black to white to grey transformation, also known as a two pi phase jump. Fringes themselves can be compared to isometric or constant lines of surface outer plane displacement levels. Defect detectability. The effectiveness and also sensitivity of laser stratigraphy depends on the type of entity inspection application and also the ability of the excitation technique to generate bending strain to the test object. There are six main laser stratigraphy NDT inspection applications, including the inspection of honeycombs, sandwiches, laminates and also composite overwraps, bondings and coatings, compounds and ceramics, and spray foams and sealants. Each excitation technique also has varying applicability partially dependent on the material surface characteristics and properties, but also on the sample cross-section construction. Laser stratigraphy is one of the only NDT techniques that can effectively detect no bond splits in honeycombs, ply wrinkling in laminates and overwraps, and kissing bonds. These defects all require active stressing in order to be detected. Advantages of laser stratigraphy Laser stratigraphy is one of the easiest NET techniques to automate. Our software Ishta4D has an optional inbuilt remote API that allows standard testing procedures to be fully automated. This feature consists of a software communication protocol that allows a PLC controller to interact with the Ishta4D software. This is an example of an aerospace application using automated laser stratigraphy. Laser stratigraphy has one of the highest inspection rates compared to any NET method, specifically because it utilizes a large field of view from the use of multiple laser diodes. In the case of a floor explorer which has eight laser diodes, an achievable illumination area of approximately 2.7 meters by 2.2 meters, equaling six meters squared, can be reached per inspection. Coupled with short loading time application, an inspection rate of multiple square meters can be achieved per minute. This allows for faster and more economical NET inspections. The measurement sensitivity, which is the number or density of fringes, is dependent on three components. The laser wavelength, which is a fixed constant, the shearing sensitivity, which is adjustable via the user through the Ishta4D software, and the amount of bending. In the application on the left, this is actually the applied pressure. An aluminium honeycomb sample was inspected in a vacuum chamber using three different pressure levels and three different shear distance sensitivities. Three localized impact damages were detected in all measurements and the number of fringes increases with, when either the shear distance or pressure also increases. This increase in the number or density of fringes is proportional according to the equation here. Notice that the result four by one giving four and two by four or one by eight is actually a doubling in the amount of or density of fringes. In 2016, an impartial quantitative assessment of conventional and advanced NDI technologies was commissioned by the Federal Aviation Administration for detecting flaws in composite honeycomb aircraft structures. Six honeycomb reference panels were created using either carbon graphite and or fiberglass 369 ply skins with a one inch thick Nomex aramid core. The floor types included interplay delaminations consisting of pillow inserts, machine core disbonds simulating the presence of an air gap, 
pillow insert disc bonds simulating tight contact but no adhesive strength, for example, kissing bonds, and naturally formed impact damages uh, such as crushed cores, disc bonds, delaminations, and broken fibers. The test set out to determine the probability of detection with 95% confidence bound and also the false call rates of 20 different technologies. Probability of detection or POD. Laser stratigraphy had the best average 90% probability detection of all six reference panels, meaning it could find the smallest defects in all the reference panels with a 95% confidence bound. It was equal with thermography, twice as better than ultrasonics, 1.4 times better than radiography, and 2.5 times better than tap hammers. In addition with the false call rate, laser stratigraphy had the best average false call rate of 0.2 compared to any of the other 20 NET techniques. It had only one false call in all the inspections carried out, meaning it was seven times better than thermography, 15 times better than ultrasonics, three times better than radiography, and 15 times better than tap hammers. In summary, laser stratigraphy offers the best combination of probability of detection and false call rate for the inspection of honeycomb samples than any other NET technique. You have the highest likelihood of finding small defects without making an error. This is an example of an aluminum honeycomb sample being inspected with a vacuum ambient excitation. There are six discontinuities here that can be seen on the phase map. The duration of this inspection took approximately 5 seconds and the inspection rate therefore with respect to the field of view is approximately 1.4 meters squared per minute. The six discontinuities pictured here, two consist of corrosion disc bonding which is occurs between the skin and the core. The upper left uh, discontinuity is a crack core. The three discontinuities on the right are various indications of uh, corrosion crush cores and crack cores, and also in many cases, node bond splits as well. This is another application of aluminum honeycomb being excited using vacuum ambient excitation. In this particular example, it's very clear to see forms of disbonding between the honeycomb core and the honeycomb skin. Here, here, and here. This is an example of an aramid honeycomb sample being inspected using thermal excitation. Two 1000 watt spot halogen heat lamps were applied with heat of duration of 6 seconds uh, to the sample. The entire inspection took 15 seconds, yielding an inspection rate with respect to the field of view of 0.5 meters squared per minute. There are seven discontinuities that can be seen on the phase map. The seven different discontinuities were generated through impact damage simulated through a metallic ball being dropped at specific heights. This is a laser stratigraphy application of a tail rotor blade taken from a helicopter. The test object size is approximately 1000 mm in span by 390 mm in the airfoil direction. Three inspections were performed on both sides of the rotor blade. Using vacuum ambient excitation from 0 kPa to 10 kPa, taking approximately 10 seconds per section to measure, the six different phase maps were generated as can be seen here on the right hand side. The entire inspection took approximately two minutes per rotor blade. As you can see, there are various defects here which can be visually identified in the phase maps. There are multiple other laser stratigraphy applications applicable, including for laminates such as delaminations, porosity, fluid ingresses and ply wrinkling. Honeycombs, including disbonds, cracked and crushed cores, fluid ingresses, corrosion, and no bond splits. Sandwich cores, including disbonds, cracked cores, fluid ingresses, dry spots, and voids. And composite overwrap pressure vessels, including ply and liner delaminations, boss shearing, ply wrinkling, and porosity. And finally, coatings and bonded components, i.e. cork, rubber, including disbonds and kissing bonds. Other laser stratigraphy applications also include impact damage, for example in rotor blades, embedded foreign objects in elevators, or fluid ingresses in solar arrays. Thank you for your attention. 
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact your local Dantec Dynamics sales representative or visit our webpage, our website at www.dantecdynamics.com.